This drink took Northeast and Southeast Asia by a huge phenomenon, and through America is now taking hold of the West. But with all great things, there's a bit of controversy and debate as to the origins of this small little drink, as well as the new variations of it. The history of bubble tea is a work in progress, and chances are you might not know any of the details behind it. By the end of this narration, most likely you'll learn some new things about the drink as well. Now, as bubble tea gains popularity in the United States of America and Europe, drink status also increases. Bubble tea is a new tea culture phenomenon. But let's start at the beginning. Tea has always been drank in China for thousands of years. The Chinese were the original tea brewing and drinking masters. And in modern times, Taiwan, the climate is extremely humid for most of the year. So when a cold drink came out, which would be a sweet drink for the climate, It was a perfect match. At the time, there was a demand for a cheap yet good-tasting drink. The exact origins of what is now considered bubble tea are in mild dispute. But what's undoubtedly proven is that the drink originated from Taiwan in the early to mid 1980s, depending on your version of the story. The most referred to version of the origin of bubble tea, and the one person most credited with creating the quote-unquote tea. Is Taiwanese tea shop owner Liu Han Che, who experimented with cold milk tea in 1983. It is believed that he first experimented with fruit syrup, candied yams, and the eventually now iconic tapioca pearls. Another version has Liu selling the drinks to school children, because at the time other tea vendors who were also selling to the children after the school day. Or after playtime, Liu decided to make the tea different by adding ingredients which were the precursors of what we now consider to be bubble tea ingredients. Children loved the new tea, as other vendors soon caught on and began to do variations of the tea. Also, supposedly the drink did not catch on until it received attention and publicity from a Japanese television show. Following that, bubble tea rapidly gained interest in the 1990s. Now it has become an international drink as its popularity continues to grow worldwide. Bubble tea is also commonly known as, in alphabetical order, BBT, bubble milk tea, bubble tea drink, boba, boba drink, boba naicha, naicha means milk tea in Chinese, boba tea, momi, momi milk tea, pearl milk tea. Pearl sago tea, where a pearl sago is used instead of tapioca. Pearl tea, QQ drinks. Q is Taiwanese slang for chewy. Tapioca pearl tea, tapioca tea, Tran Chao, Vietnamese usage. Zhenju naicha, Zhenju means pearls and naicha means milk tea in Chinese. Bubble tea was originally called bubble tea because of the bubbles that would appear after vigorously shaking the drink in a cocktail shaker, not because of the boba, the tapioca pearls. However, since the tapioca pearls were later added to it, the name further solidified as bubble tea because now the drink had bubbles on both the top and on the bottom, tapioca pearls of the drink. In my opinion, all of bubble tea can be put into two main categories. The original milk tea and all of its variations, and the sweet fruit tea with all of its variations as well. Most, if not all, the teas have tapioca pearls or bubbles. Usually chewy, some are easy to chew like grapes. Others are thicker like beans, hence a taro version as well. Some also have jelly, separate from the pearls or included also. By jelly, I mean it's the sweet fruit kind of whatever fruit you may be thinking of. Under most circumstances, you can't use a regular straw when drinking bubble tea because of the jelly slices or pearls, as a thin normal straw is too thin for you to suck up the sweets with. There's a reason why the plastic covering is on the top; it's for the straw. You can try to drink the tea like a normal drink, but it doesn't have the same experience. Some enthusiastic bubble tea drinkers have even tried to buy the items needed for tea to enjoy in their own home. It's actually not that really expensive, but depending on the sort of tea you would want to drink in your personal space, it may be time-consuming and some work may be needed as well. To try and differentiate themselves from other tea shops, a new trend is the bubble tea cafe, 
or restaurant, where the tea is sold with different sorts of snacks or even larger meals for lunches or dinners. Though this drink may be just a trend in the popular spotlight, there's no doubt that it's a drink that's here to stay. What's your favorite drink and what was your first bubble tea experience like?